Let's go. And we will see. Hello, this is one very beautiful weekend. Today being Saturday, the 10th day of June 2023, and this is your live boy today. We want to remind you that you need to continue to worship the one true God. There is no other God aside and apart of him. That one true God is the same that manifests as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Especially now that we are in the season of Trinity, we need to remind you that that one true God is the one true triune God, the Trinity. And that is he that you should worship. Today we'll be reading again from the book of Second Kings, or do I say the second book of the kings of Israel and Judah as put together by prophet Isaiah. So, 2 Kings in chapter 17 is what we will be reading today, and the reading will start off from verse 24. Again, another very long verse, I mean, sorry, another very long uh, passage where we want to learn a few lessons about worshipping the one true triune God. If you're set, let's go very quickly now, from verse 24. And the king of Assyria brought people from Babylon and Kutha, Ava, Hameth, and Sepharavim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the people of Israel. And they took possession of Samaria and dwelt in its cities. And at the beginning of their dwelling there, they did not fear the Lord. Therefore, the Lord sends lions among them, which killed some of them. So the king of Assyria was told, The nations which you have carried away and placed in the cities of Samaria do not know the law of the God of the land. Therefore he has sent lions among them, and behold, they are killing them, because they do not know the law of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, Send them there, one of the priests whom you carried away thence, and let him go and dwell there, and teach them the law of the God of the land. So one of the priests whom they had carried away from Samaria came and dwelled in Bethel, and taught them how they should fear the Lord. But every nation still made gods of its own, and put them in the shrines of the high places, which the Samaritans had made, every nation in the cities in which they dwell. The men of Babylon made Sokoth Benoth, the men of Kuth made Nagal, the men of Hamath made Ashima, and the Avites made Nibhaz and Takak, and the Sephavites bond their children in the fire to Adramelech and Anamelech, the gods of Sepavim. They also feared the Lord and appointed from among themselves all sorts of people as priests of the high places who sacrificed for them in the shrines of the high places. So they feared the Lord 
but also served their own gods after the manner of the nations from among whom they had been carried away. To this day, they do according to the former manner. They do not fear the Lord, and they do not follow the statutes of the ordinances of the law of the commandments, which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, whom he named Israel. The Lord made a covenant with them and commanded them, You shall not fear other gods, or bow yourselves to them, or serve them, or sacrifice to them. But you shall fear the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt with great power and with an outstretched arm. And you shall bow yourselves to him and to him you shall sacrifice. And the statutes and the ordinances and the law and the commandments which he wrote for you, you shall always be careful to do. You shall not fear other gods. And you shall not forget the covenant that I have made with you. You shall not fear other gods, but you shall fear the Lord your God, and he will deliver you out of the hand of your enemies. However, they would not listen, but they did according to the former manners. So these nations feared the Lord and also served the graven images, their children likewise, and their children's children as their fathers did, so they do to this day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can you imagine, just as a quick aside, how very wicked the Assyrians that were capturing everywhere, how, how wicked they were. They would capture a people and take them away from their land into one strange land. Let's say a people X they would capture and take to the land of Y and capture the people of Y, take them to the land of Z and capture the people of Z and bring them to the land of X so that everybody was living in a strange land. And so, therefore, they would want to worship the gods of the land that eventually they found themselves, but they would also bring the gods, their graven images from their own lands. And so in this story, they had to bring a priest back from the children of Israel to come back to Samaria because Samaria had been expelled anyway from there. They had been taken elsewhere and so they needed to bring somebody back to be with those that had been brought into Samaria so that they could be taught the way of the true God of the land. But they did not follow the ways of the true God of the land eventually, ultimately. They did it partially and still followed other gods. And that was why destruction was always waiting for them, because they would not worship the one true God. And for you, the message, the lesson here, is that worship just that one true God. You shall have no other God beside him. And there are so many other gods that many of us have today. Sometimes it is your phone, anything that takes your attention away from God, from serving God. Anything that you would rather first address and put God aside. Perhaps you are in church, your phone rings, you want to pick it, that has become your God for that moment. Yes, we are telling you the truth. Perhaps for you it is money, because whenever the issue of money crops up, no, leave the matter of God aside for now, we will go and address God later. Yes, I know it is sinful, but let me just do it. You are serving another God. Perhaps for you it is the opposite gender. Perhaps for you it is position. You can kill anybody. We've had stories recently of certain people because they wanted to win elections in the parliament in Nigeria. Killed so many people. And well, God is seeing everything. But what we are telling you is you need to worship the one true God. And that one true God, this season of Trinity, we need to remind you, is that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom we worship through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who has been given a name above every other name, that at the name of that Jesus, all knees should bow in heaven, on earth, under this uh, earth, everywhere. So, are you set to also join us in worshiping that one true God from today? Are you set to give your life to Christ? If you are set to do that, just say this prayer, say, Lord, I come to you. I want to worship you as the one true God. 
forgive me of all the sins of the past. I accept you as Lord and Savior from today. I pray that you accept me too as one of yours. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Did you just say that prayer? Welcome to the fold of Christ this beautiful Saturday. I don't know whether it's in the morning or afternoon or night that you are joining us in this fellowship right now. But you need to find a Bible-believing church so that you can grow in the faith of the one true God. I always recommend that you join us in the Anglican Church of Rokias in extension of Shobu. For now, we still worship in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Maryland High Schools, or Yikon and Gokyo Drive, or Rokias in extension of Shobu. You can join us every Tuesday, 5 o'clock for our midweek services, or every Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning, as we worship in the presence of the Lord, serving that one true God. Well, if you are checking your screen right now, you will observe that we put bank account details of our church there because we are still building one permanent church building where we'll be able to worship the one true God exclusively in that location and not just the chapel hall of a school right now. So partner with us and it will be well with you. And as you go today now, say this prayer, say, oh Lord, I declare that there is no God like you. I pray that you give me the grace to worship and obey you only all the days of my life. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Go out today. Remember that there is only one true triune God. Worship the one true God and it will be well with you. God bless you. you